I want to know who's digging holes. Is the porch not cool enough for you? Huh? What about you, fat boy? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about limit straps. Um, specifically, the front limit straps on a Can-Am X3. Now, these cars don't come with limit straps, and it's a big issue if you like to go fast and go over the whoops. I am not 100% on the uh, XDS, but on the XRS, it's a very common issue for the front shocks to make a very loud clunk um, when you're going over the whoops and the shock fully extends. Now, if you have a Can-Am X3, XRS, XRC, or any of the 72 inch models, even an XMR, um, and you hear a clunk from the front suspension, it could be one of two very common things on these cars. One being the sway bar links come loose. Usually the nut from the sway bar link to the upper arm will come loose. Usually from the paint cracking from the factory, that'll come loose and you have a clunk. Um, kind of annoying but um it's an easy fix all you gotta do is tighten up the nut now if you hear a different noise coming from your front suspension also a clunk type noise and it's very loud and it usually only happens when you're going over very deep whoops at um high speed or if you're jumping the car you'll hear this guy pretty much trying to rip itself apart the shock will fully extend when the suspension fully droops down when you're going over that whoop or that jump and the clunk will be very prevalent and it sound kind of you know discouraging so my recommendation is go get yourself some limit straps and i recommend shock therapy limit straps and the reason i recommend shock therapy limit straps is simple all the products they make are amazing so if you've been on my channel before you see some of the parts i put on on this car and when it comes to the shock therapy springs the shock uh, valving the uh tie rods and the bump steer delete kit everything that shock therapy does is um calculated they check the geometry of the suspension they've made changes to the shortcomings of the suspension to make it as good and as best as possible um and this car rides like a cadillac cadillac grills cadillac mills um, I've been over the whoops, I've been over small jumps, not anything crazy, but this car rides so damn smooth that the kids, before I would only go 20 miles an hour, before they would complain, and now I go 30, uh, which isn't a lot, obviously, but when I'm by myself, I'll hit the whoops at 75, 70 miles an hour, and the car just performs, it really does. And that's because they make some of the best stuff in the industry, they do their research, they do a little, lot of R&D, and um, they really make a great product. So that's what makes these awesome. The shock strap follows the shock from top to bottom against the shock body, causing the shock strap to be as efficient as possible and there is no deflection. Uh, some you'll see that the shock straps will be bolted to the frame or they'll be bolted to the shock tower brace. The quality of the product speaks for itself. The strap is actually three straps in one put together. So it's nice and strong. The way it bolts to the uh, lower bolt there there's a spacer that keeps it away from the spring at the very top there's an adjustment so you can keep adjusting these straps as they stretch because they will stretch the shock tower um excuse me the shock body mounting point is aluminum machined beautiful piece of art and these things are just quality with everything they make just like these tie rod ends here they're just quality pieces and they look amazing so everything the shock therapy makes is uh i highly recommend and definitely these limit straps are a big giant reason that this car rides like a dream all right so the front shock straps are a must-have the rear shock straps on the other hand i would say are not needed um and justin from shock therapy says this himself if you have the stock wheels and tires that you're going to keep the stock wheels and tires you don't need this, these straps um the shocks have enough damping in them where you won't get a clunk and you won't have that kind of issue if you run 32s um you start to getting into heavier wheels or if you run aftermarket suspension in the rear that's heavier then you get to the point where you might want to run in these straps in order to save the cvs and the axles and also to uh, avoid some possible clunks that may come with putting more heavier components on the vehicle but the fronts for sure are a must-have whether you're stock bone stock from the dealer you're gonna want those limit straps the rear ones put those on your bucket list all right guys short video i washed up the car in the morning and now i'm gonna show you guys some footage from the whoops from johnson valley check it out like comment subscribe let me know what limit straps you've got and how they're working out for you and yeah see you guys next time